Hello there everybody, welcome back to another Maple Story video, and in this video, as you can see right here and by the title, we're going to be talking about the 2024 Next Winter Showcase that just happened uh, yesterday. I did watch this live, I caught it live, I watched the restream from good old Kobe, love Kobe, good man, good man, and uh, just kind of scroll through it and see what kind of got announced. You can kind of see over here on the left side a uh, little recap of what happened. This was a... Uh, a thread that was live updated and has been updated more over time afterwards credits to this man's here free cell whomstever that may be uh you're a goat the first thing that is on this list though it is not the first thing that they did show but we'll just go in the order of the spreadsheet because that's the easiest way to do it uh they did announce third and fourth mastery cores um I guess they did show this first, huh? It was just a bunch of yapping pre pre this. So I guess this is an order. Okay. Yeah, it look, man, it happened about 24 hours ago now. My brain's still a little bit fried. And also I was very tired when I was watching the stream in the first place. But third and fourth mastery cores. Uh some of these are much better for others than some. Nightwalker's cores seem wholly underwhelming, but hey, that's just how it goes sometimes. Overall, it looks pretty cool. Also, my other character that I used to play, Wild Hunter, man, theirs looked horrible too. <laughs> One of the showcases for their mastery cores was just their jaguar hitting a fucking dr pink bean. Like, what are we doing here, man? Um, and I will put this spreadsheet in the description if you guys want to take a look at any of this stuff yourself. But we aren't going to be looking at the, the the preview trailer for it. But you can watch it if you'd like. Overall, it's pretty cool. Uh, then the next thing that they did release or announce was the new boss. It is a spooky fire flame horseman with a polearm. Overall, I'm very not excited for this even a little bit because this is the second boss in a row where the, <laughs> the majority of people aren't going to be engaging with this content. And this is just going to be another piece of it. And in my mind, like, the development time could have been used to go towards more content that other people, or more people could enjoy. Something like a boss remaster, a new class, something like that. And then this boss could have come out in, like, 6 or 12 months, whatever it may be, down the line, where we have more power systems to be able to clear these things. I don't know. That's This is like the one thing that I do really kind of wish they did better, though. The boss release. If they had removed the boss release and put like anything else like I just said, I think this would have been better, right? And it's not even like a reboot thing. It's just like a the highest echelon of players struggle to clear these bosses, like Limbo Hard. It's going to be the same thing for this guy. There's no new power systems. Some classes do gain quite a bit from their mastery, their third and fourth mastery. But I think a lot of classes gain in the, like, 5% range at most, which is... It's a lot, don't get me wrong, but it's not enough to push you to things like this, right? And that's sort of my, my point. Either way, it's not that big of a deal. It just kind of is like another one of those things that it's like, I wish this was something different. Uh, they did also announce Genesis weapon changes. More specifically, there's going to be a new Genesis weapon, or Destiny weapon is what they call it. And it's going to function in similar ways to the Genesis weapon, and it upgrades your current Genesis weapon. Uh, which is why they changed Liberating, but we'll get into that in a minute. But, um, it's the Destiny weapon, it's level 250, you can see here it has higher base stats. Can have potential, can have B pod as well for interactive. It also does keep the current potential and flame that you have on your Jenny when you swap over to Destiny, which is a big, a big point. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, I'm yapping. Sip, sip of that slizzerp. <clears throat> okay, so. The Destiny weapon is, for all intents and purposes, just another Genesis weapon, and the quest line is going to focus on Grandis bosses rather than, you know, Tenebris bosses. But you will need to have liberated your weapon in order to even start this. 
and it seems like the first the first it, this image is a screen grab from the um presentation and it shows Saren, Kalos and Kaling. So assumedly I mean according to this translation the first enhancement missions Saren, Kalos, Kaling, second enhancement missions Limbo, Baldrix and Question Mark. They're planning further enhancement missions. So I guess you might have to do all of these bosses to get the first level whatever that may be. Uh, and then the biggest change to lib Liberation in the Liberation questline is the fact that you only have to kill Black Mage one time. You only have to kill it for the initial quests to start the Liberation process because the very first quest requires you to kill Black Mage. But after that, you get like a bar that fills up from any bosses uh, past Lotus, I think it was. Even, yeah, nor from normal Lotus to BM. So anything from Lotus to Black Mage. So basically anything that isn't a Grandis boss and isn't lower than Lotus. And you fill up this bar and you... It's un, not entirely sure how this works, but you fill, up, <clears throat> you fill up the bar in order to progress the mission now. Rather than having to get the Genesis Crux or the Remnants, which is how it used to work. So... The biggest thing that they did mention was the fact that this will take as short as three months instead of eight months to complete now. So even if you're not able to do this maximally effectively or whatever that may look like, uh, you will still be able to do it assumedly faster than eight months. Because you have to be able to kill Black Mage once to start the thing anyways, so I don't know. Uh, and a similar system will apply to Destiny Weapon Quests as well, which is good. And then this is the thing that I do see a lot of people complaining about, but in my eyes, it's just another one of those things that it'll likely be easy, easy enough to get it to a good enough state and very, very, very hard to like actually truly min max. But I think a lot of people, uh, the thing that they use against that argument is how like min maxing for 0.5 FD is like the end game for a lot of people. And it's like, yeah, that's true for sure, but like, I think if it's easy enough to get 90% of the power from a system, it's probably fine, right? Like, if you can pretty much immediately get 90% of the power from the system and then the other 10% takes a while to work towards, I mean, I think that's okay, but maybe I'm smoking dick, I don't know. Uh, but basically, this is the Legion system. But you designate up to six, like, Legion Champions, or what they call it. And this unlocks when you start at 8k Legion, and you, and you need a level 260 character. Six characters can be assigned. You have to fight bosses to get every character ranked. And I think you have to fight the bosses with that specific character, too. And they get Insignias, and the Insignias enhance based on the Champion Assessment rank, and it gives the stats to the Legion Champions. So basically, these are the stats that you can get, the maximum values of these stats, too. And it's like Legion Pieces 2, basically. And then there's also a Champions Raid type thing, and it has, like, tag play they mentioned. Um, how, how that works, who knows? We'll have to wait and see. And the rewards are, like, 30-minute buffs customizable. can receive these buffs. Overall, I think this is a system I'm really going to need to see. Because if they do implement it and it's not very easy to get, like, a vast majority of the power from it, then yeah, I can definitely see being disappointed for it. But overall, I mean, this fits right in line with what MapleStory has historically done. Like, a system like this makes sense. Um, if you need, like, six super fucking geared characters, though, to even get, like, the majority of the power to begin with, then yeah, that's a little... It, it can get there. It can get a little iffy. We'll just have to wait and see, really, to see how it works. The biggest stuff, though... Well, I wouldn't say the biggest stuff, but some of the biggest stuff for me is the QOL stuff. Monster Parker Extreme becoming weekly uh, is fine, because if you run it on Sunday, you will get just as much as experience as you would have gotten for running it every single day without the change. But the biggest part is, is you can do Monster Park Extreme on two characters now, which is <clears throat> quite good. Uh, and they do give you five times experience for the Monster Park Extreme run, since you can only do it once a week on one character. Um, I mean, obviously you can do it twice a week on two characters, but once a week per character, or per character up to two. 
So they 5x the experience, and that's why I say if you do it on a Sunday, because Sunday will give you additional Monster Park experience, you'll be able to get the same amount of clear experience as you would have previously. So you're not losing anything, you're just gaining another character that you can run on if you do it on Sunday. And following that, Epic Dungeons can also be completed on two characters now, which is very good, because again, I think this is something that I really wanted to see. Uh, the ability to do dailies or weeklies on multiple characters in order to be able to build up their fragments because fragments are very important and it's like one of the biggest gates to playing another character um something that i hope gms exclusively does around the time we get this is i hope they let us do the daily the soul urda 3k mob kill daily on multiple characters and get the fragments on multiple characters i think that would really be nice but I mean, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I wouldn't count on it, but I'm just saying that's like, that would be really nice. Uh, Soul Erda usage. So basically, they he said that when you fill up your Soul Erda gauge, uh, you can get things like VIP boosters or Hexa boosters that are similar to VIP boosters. So basically just VIP boosters for excess Soul Erda, which is very good. They made Grandis Daily Quest easier. They made Monster Park Title Quest easier. So less runs, assumedly. Uh, and they also increase the number of symbols for Arcane River special content. So I'm assuming it's stuff like uh, the weekly. Boss region prequest squip expanded. No need to redo prequests in another world. That's pretty cool. More relevant for interactive servers due to Burning World. Yeah, I mean, even still, that's something that should definitely be the uh, thing. You know, it should exist, obviously. <clears throat> they remastered the story of Arcane River. Title and metal stat and appearance is separated. So what this means is you can, uh, you don't have to anvil uh, this shit anymore. So that's nice for the people who want to look pretty. The quest UI remaster, world web remaster, movement QOL. Uh, this stuff is basically irrelevant to us as far as I'm understanding it. This is like a KMS thing. They made the auto legion grid solver in game now. So I can... As long as it automatically puts in your pieces for you, I'll use this constantly. Because if it doesn't put in the pieces for you for some reason, then I'll still just be lazy as I am now. That's like the biggest reason why. It takes so goddamn long to put the pieces in, man. And then the last big thing is this skill buff sequencer. Which will let you... You can barely see it, this microscopic picture. But you can basically uh, put a bunch of buffs. And this, these are like burst buffs so like you can one button burst we'll have to really see how this gets implemented to see how useful it really is but if it's implemented well i think this is pretty good um but i can easily see it being like a broken half-assed one button macro from something like wow where if you get interrupted mid like macro it just fucks up completely but we'll have to see uh, and then this is an event stuff Hyper burning <laughs> one plus four, so you get five levels per level up on the 260 hyper burning. I was really surprised to not see this go up to even like 265, 270. Some people were copiuming for 275, but still being 260 is like whatever. And like getting five levels per level with the hyper burning is also like whatever. Because it's like this shit was already really fast, so does it need to be faster if you don't increase the cap? I mean, it's nice. It's just weird, in my opinion. Uh, and then they these guys did also give Interactive a... I guess a better version of Burning World. But they have a bunch of crazy missions. And one of the missions on this was to hit level 280. And I was like, damn, bro, you have like 280 plus missions. If you're hitting a... 280 on a temporary world my fucking you're a goat bro you're you're too too good for me but you can see the full roadmap here if you don't want to open the document but i think that's what i'm going to end it off on so thank you guys so much for watching and let me know your guys' thoughts as well like i said this is just kind of off the cuff and kind of my opinions that i've cooked on since i watched the stream about 24 hours ago and uh that's that's my thoughts overall i think it's really good and like I said, the the one thing that I really wish was different is just the boss. All the other things, I'm like, thumbs up, man. It's just the boss, you know? And it's not even because I can't personally partake in it, right? Um, if it was reasonable to get to these things, I would be 
I would be singing a different song, right? But I don't think Limbo and Valdrix are bosses that are, like, reasonable for most people to get to, right? And even at the tippy-top higher echelon of gamers, it's still not accessible. So it's like, who is this for? It's for nobody right now. It's for future. But I don't know. That's my thoughts. I'll stop yapping. Thanks for watching. Like the video. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you to my members. Remix my life. I'm Nufu. My tier twos. I love you guys. It's Biscuits Inner Diz. You guys are all my greatest friends. I love every single one of you. Viewers included. Bye.